Now turning to the weather and a massive storm that has certainly living is certainly living up to expectations. It dumped a lot of snow in the Great Lakes region and now the Northeast is getting pummeled with snow and freezing rain. Early show weather anchor Dave Price is at Chicago's O'Hare Airport and Dave, this is a tough time for so many holiday travelers hoping to fly the coop. You bet, Katie, it is. And lots of fatigued uh, people hanging around at the airport tonight just trying to get to where they're going. And many of them have been here most of the day. Some have just given up. They're just one of a group of people trying to fight the elements and a storm that's left a quarter million people without power tonight. Mud, slush, and everything. It's just been a battle. Mike Fabian has been clearing snow off Chicago streets for 13 hours. He knows snow. We own the rest of America when it comes to battling the snow. Much of the Midwest through the Northeast spent the day attempting to cope with a brutal storm, dropping as much as 10 inches of snow in parts of Illinois before moving on to blast the Northeast, tying up traffic and frustrating plans. I'm expecting at least three to four hour delay, so I'm prepared to camp out. Some travelers hoping to get home for the holidays arrive to find long delays or worse. Milwaukee's airport is closed and others have canceled flights. 250 at Chicago's O'Hare, at least 650 at New York City airports, and at least 150 at Detroit Metro. <laughs> Kids were happy though, thrilled to be playing in the snow as many school systems from Iowa to New England were closed. I was coming out to play in the snow and then I was thinking about four. But adults are stressed. Right now it's just, it's, it's just horrible. Kim Woodward owns a small boutique. The one-two punch from the economy and the weather means no customers on a critical shopping weekend. Can you recover the business before the holidays that you lost today? Unfortunately, no. Just point blank, no. Quick moving. This quick moving system is expected to leave around six inches of snow in New York City and as much as a foot north of there before finally tapering off late tonight. And while Saturday brings a break for the Northeast, two more storms are rolling into the region next week. Katie and Dave, as we just saw, the timing couldn't be worse for retailers as well as travelers. How much holiday shopping is usually done the weekend before Christmas? Well, Katie, the final weekend before Christmas typically accounts for about 12% of holiday sales. And many of the store owners we spoke to said at this point, when you lose a day, you can't make up for that lost business. And that's why a bad weather forecast equals a bad economic forecast in so many parts of the country this week. All right. Dave Price in Chicago for us tonight. Dave, thanks a lot.